Hey, I'm Rubina, artist in residence at Austin Bergstrom International Airport, and welcome to my studio here. Today is uh, September 26, 2022. I came here for a meeting with the art program personnel and I was here and I thought well at least I got to do something before I leave my studio so I decided to do some detailing over here on this plane yeah basically I just need brown and white and a little bit of black and I have my brushes selected and some oil right now I just have linseed oil so I'm, I'm using a small filbert it's like a number six filbert right Let's make these windows. With the filbert, it's easy to make a little bit of a curved edge, and so it's like a natural <laughs> window maker. <laughs> but I have to do this again on the other side so that the bottom curve also comes. I have some brown here on my angular brush. Angle brushes are good to, you know, to work around places. There's some brown over here on my palette. I'll make the windows a little more even here. Okay, I think that's enough. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do the, the the tail of the aircraft and. <sighs> with my own design of aircraft painting because <laughs> because I don't want it to resemble any particular airlines. Now there's a thing called law of diminishing returns which I often talk about. I think as far as this plane is concerned, I think I have arrived at a point of diminishing returns. So I'm just gonna let it be now. Move on to my next, next task. I wanted to lift up some of this, this part of the terminal because the curve has gone down and I want to lift it up. So, detailing often means breaking down big tasks into smaller tasks, otherwise I wouldn't be able to get it done, correct? So when I'm painting this whole thing, you know, it's just like a fluid motion, it's like a dance, it's, just, it's, it's exuberant and, and this detailing is meticulous and tight and requires more patience. Gray and black. And this is a drop, and there shouldn't be a drop. It has to be a, a smooth transition. Okay, I've got to be very careful because I'm pretty much done here, and if I <clears throat> mess up, it's going to take more time and effort, and uh, I don't want any of that. It's going to be like getting to the point of law of diminishing returns here. This is not a photograph. It's a painting. You can keep going on and on and on and keep perfecting it. And it'll probably take several lifetimes to do that. And besides, this is not photorealism. Realism slash impressionism, which is basically my style of painting. Okay, well, I guess it's time to say goodbye. And uh, I do want to show you my window, my beautiful window. I can show you my palette right here. So this was the palette. These were the brushes. That's my table where I'm going to be cleaning the brushes. And there is a lovely window with the beautiful sunshine outside. And I can see the sky. Oh, the sun is so bright. See that? You see, there's a reflection of me and the bush behind. 
anyway this is the rest of my studio pretty large and I haven't shown you this side of the studio lots of racks and these are part of the racks that I use and that's my timer for one hour and 30 minutes running so and after that I'm going to clean the brushes oh, it's not such a bad job because these um, brushes are small and they should be, I should be able to clean them pretty well easily okay goodbye